In Petaluma, a town known for its agricultural heritage, the age-old debate about the chicken and the egg has become a symbol of cooperation in the form of a bicycle bollard. We have a bronze cast on the the top and bronze arms, so as people use this and touch it, it will get it will, a patina that would be really quite nice. The bollards can be found throughout town and serve as a sort of hitching post for bicycles. You'll also notice these wooden benches adorned with chickens in the ironwork. It may seem simple in design, but this project involves many creative minds and skilled hands. For instance, the Petaluma Arts Council sponsored a contest for local artists to come up with this chicken and egg design. But students from Petaluma High School are the ones who created the plans in drafting class. Having had a project where we've actually drawn it and then seen it built, and then to have this huge project with everyone else, and we've never worked in cooperation with the metal shop before or anything like that. And students in the metal and woodworking shops at Petaluma High used their skilled hands to bring the drawings from paper to real life. It's not like all the other classes. I enjoy it. And watching a bench like form in front of you from the drawings to just like the basic thing. Like I remember just trying to figure out how to bend one thing of it. Now we're bending the entire thing and we're producing them. And it's just an awesome class and I like it. We're working on something that's going to be around for hundreds of years. I mean, our grandkids are going to go back and look at these projects. And I mean, it's just kind of cool. We're going to be able to put our stamp on something, and this is actually a business. Local businesses provided the materials and have worked closely with the students, giving them a chance to learn real-life skills and to network with professionals in an industry that could lead to a career. Oftentimes what's missing in education is, is, is the relevance factor, and when we can integrate what's lear what students are learning in drafting classes, for example, where they design a project like this and then actually do a hands-on experience where they build it in the wood shop, um, it, um, it has much more importance to the kids. And when they walk downtown today, next year, in 50 years from now, and they see that the product that they built in 19 or in 2005, 2006 is still in Petaluma, I think there's going to be much more than just um, the experience of having taken a class. It's, they're part of the legacy of this whole project. I'm really proud of the work that they've done and the effort and the commitment that they have made. Uh, they've, they've learned so much about starting an enterprise business, a startup business, about being responsible for producing a quality product, uh, for paying attention to schedules. Uh, it, it's just it, it's amazing how, uh, how hard they worked. I'm really proud of them. I think it's extremely important that everybody knows the collaboration that the city of Petaluma had with the district and, and w eventually with the students in the classroom. The benches have also caught the eye of residents in Petaluma and beyond. So many requests have been made, a residential version of the bench has been designed and is available to the general public. The profits are reinvested into the metal and the woodworking shops at Petaluma High School. As I'm sure everyone is aware there's not a lot of money for vocational programs these days and this this project has been um, really uh, quite a blessing. The results of this collaborative effort between the city of Petaluma, local businesses and Petaluma schools are tangible pieces of art to be enjoyed and used by residents and tourists for generations. It's a cycle this community would like to see continue for at least as long as that age-old debate about the chicken and the egg.